Welcome back to Rosa's Kitchen. Today we're going to make lemon cookies. My cousin Catherine used to make these all the time, but she used anisette or anise, which is where the name came from, anginata cookies. That's what most people call them. You can also make them with vanilla extract, and they are a delicious vanilla cookie. I made them for years, and now I handed it down to my daughter Deborah, who makes them for parties, any occasion. But these cookies are guaranteed to make you go, mm mm, good. So let's get started. You're going to use two eggs, a half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon and a fourth of baking powder, two cups of flour a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. One stick of butter melted. So let's start with the eggs. I'm gonna crack two eggs. And mix them. Now this can be doubled and then you use a tablespoon, I mean a teaspoon of vin vanilla extract and a teaspoon of lemon extract. Most times it's four cups of flour. Okay, we're gonna beat that. Now we're going to add the sugar, which is a half a cup. These are really easy and they're so good. And now I'll add the lemon. It's okay if it's a little more, it's always good. And the vanilla extract. Gonna mix that. Now we're going to add the two cups of flour. And the tablespoon and a fourth of baking powder. going to mix this. Now you're going to add the melted butter that you cool down a bit. You're going to really mix it good. And when it gets to this part, you're going to mix it. Make sure you mix all the flour in. There you go. See, it's a dough that's not sticky, but it just nice can make the balls easily with it. Now what we're going to do is get a cookie sheet. And we're going to make 15 of them on this pan. And you're putting them about two inches apart from one another because they, they spread. 
and again with these cookies you can make them large or small depending on how many you want to make at a time. I prefer larger ones. It's a nice soft dough. And we're almost. Now these make 25 to uh, 30 and if you double it you're going to get double the amount. Okay, so this is just the 15. They're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Voila, they're ready. Now you'll have to wait till they cool down. I'm going to move this all out of the way to make the icing. Going to get a bowl. Going to use a, a cup of confectionery sugar. And I put the milk here. Excuse me. Now you're going to use a half a teaspoon of the lemon extract. And same with the vanilla. Now I use milk for these and you're going to put, start with two tablespoons Now you can make this icing really thick or thin, however you like it I like it sort of in between. So we're going to add more milk to this. That's three tablespoons. That's my consistency right here. Okay. You must have your little sprinkles. Now make sure they're really cooled off before you start icing them. So I'm going to put the icing on. I'd say after every five you put some of the sprinkles. Usually I have a little... Okay. And then you do another. 
They don't want to leave him out. When I make these, I can't make them fast enough. They eat them right after I ice them. Sometimes they don't even wait for that. And this is the last of them. Now you'll get a nice dish. And I'm giving these away, so I'm going to put them in with a little doily just to make it look nice. Then you're going to place them in, in the pan, in the dish. You can also freeze these and when you have company you can take them out and place them in a dish. You won't even know they were frozen. Now I always save one for myself. Mmm. So good. I'm going to finish that but I want to finish this first. Now, if you're giving them away, you can buy a roll of this clear paper and just cut. I'm going to put them in. And you're going to make sure it's in the middle. So you, there you go. Now we're going to take some ribbon, any color you'd like. So we're going to bring it up. You're going to tie this. And then you're just going to curl the ribbon. And you can use a, a bunch of ribbon just to make it look pretty all around. Now I've, I'm giving this away to Elaine because, Delaine, come here. She has done so much for the town. She put all these programs together so that people have something to do during this bad time. <laughs> Elaine, this is for you. Well, I and I you, know Rose. you love these. One of my favorites. <laughs> Can't wait. So from my family to your family, enjoy all your family recipes and enjoy. Manja. <laughs>